The Analog Man King of Tone Perhaps the most famous and most expensive 2-in-1 overdrive pedal on the market right now A pedal which has a 4-5 to five year wait list if you put your name down to order it directly from Analog Man But if you don't want to wait and you want to get a pedal as soon as you can These retail on the used market for more than a thousand dollars. It's actually insane. However Does it really sound like a thousand bucks compared to my signature dual overdrive pedal, the drive through from Vanda Guitars. Does this pedal really sound a thousand dollars more than this guy right here? Let's find out. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the two different sides um, and see what kind of tones I get out of them, hear what kind of difference it makes, and yeah, just see if the King of Tone really is like a thousand dollars worth more of a sound than something that's only 250 bucks. <laughs> And now the uh, the left side of the King of Tone. Oh wow. Um, okay, definitely got to pump this pedal up a little bit. It's a little dark. Immediately what I can already tell is that it's got a bit more uh, mid-range to it uh, and definitely doesn't have that much output compared to this but so far it's sounding pretty alright <laughs> side of the drive through is a bit more open than this guy over here. Let's uh, pump up the drive a little bit. I can dull it down a bit to match the king of tone just a little bit This is 
definitely sounding more open and natural than uh, the King of Tone. The King of Tone's got like this little bit of a low mid thing going on, which isn't really my vibe. <laughs> And I can definitely hear there's like a little bit of my clean signal mixed into it, which is interesting. Let's pump the gain up a little more too. Now it's a little too bright. similar in a way but this has a bit more uh, fatness in the bottom end and a bit more uh, uh, grittiness on the top end and this one cut the king of tone cuts the low end a little more that's clean Let's max out the gain all the way. Interesting comparison. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that side is uh, like a thousand dollar more difference than that? Because I, I don't think it's it's a thousand dollars worth of a different tone than this guy over here. <laughs> In fact, I prefer the sound of this guy. It's a way more versatile, open, and uh, I feel like you can do a little bit more with that. All right, so let's try the uh, the right side of the pedal. Pump that up.
turn this side's a little bit more compressed um, than this guy. This guy's got more of an open low. <laughs> they sound not too far off uh, it definitely feels different this definitely feels a little more stiffer and this feels a little more spongier um, let's hear what it sounds when you stack them together uh, let's try things oh, I don't know in the middle let's, let's uh, you know what let's try it all here stacked hey let's hear the king of tone stack together <laughs> Here's King of Tone stack. It'll sound like when I crank the gain on both of them. <laughs> Man. 
Wow. From $1,000 and $250, I don't think there is anything crazy justifiable within price with how they sound. I think they both sound fantastic. Uh, but man, I, I feel like the drive through has more edge compared to the King of Tone because of how much more versatile you can get with this pedal. It's got more openness in the low end. Uh, it's still got a nice present mid-range. The mid-range on this is really nice. It's 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 throaty, but the low end on it can kind of get uh, a little flubby when you stack them both and you crank the gain a little. And this one stays a little more open and dare I say transparent. Um, and the low end doesn't flub out. It can get nice and um, punchy with its rock tones while still staying <laughs> super dynamic with your pick attack. And it's insane. Wow. What do you guys think? <laughs> well, I think after that demonstration, do you really want to pay a thousand bucks for this pedal when you can get this guy for 250 bucks and it can do way more than the King of Tone and it's more open and transparent and fits in more pedal boards than this guy and you can get this anytime you want compared to this guy right here? That's up for you to decide. If you want to get yourself a great 2-in-1 overdrive pedal that can do everything that a King of Tone can do and a little more, go get yourself the drive through from Bandit Guitars. The drive through also comes with this brand new Midnight Edition where it also has a feature for a high gain mod on the green side. So you can have a drive through in white and also a drive through in black. Seriously, how cool is that? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to check out more of my music stuff, head to my website at www.jomamaxbaymusic.com. And if you want to check out my brand new Line 6 Helix and HX Stomp presets, they are available now on multitracks.com. So thank you once again for watching this video. Hope you subscribe and have yourselves an amazing day. Peace out.